Okay, so now we're going to investigate the straight eighth note rock and roll feel. Now, so far the eighth notes we've been playing with have been shuffle, and as I said in a few few lessons ago, that's derived from the triplet. So it creates an uneven eighth note. You have a long side and a short side. Ba 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 ba. Eighth notes that are played in straight eighth note feel or rock steady rock and roll beat. Those eighth notes are divided evenly, and they sound like this. Compare that to shuffle. Now, I'm going to put my metronome on, and uh, I just have it on 72, it just happened to be the number it's on, and I'm going to first feel the backbeat, one, two, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to go back and forth between shuffle and eighth note feel. All right, this is great rhythmic training, not just for rock and roll styles, but lots of different styles of music. I'm going to go from shuffle to straight and back and forth. First, I'll start with shuffle. Two, three, four. Here's straight eighth notes. Shuffle. Straight. Nice. So you can tell by listening to certain musics, whether it's a shuffle feel, whether it has that bouncy eighth, um, eighth note that's uneven, the triplet feel, or if it's a rock steady, rock and roll beat. Songs like Johnny Be Good, or I Saw Her Standing There, or the Rolling Stones' Brown Sugar, songs like that have a straight eighth note feel. Four on the floor, eighth notes that are steady, and, un and they are not uh, uneven, they're even. <laughs> Shuffle, on the other hand, is uneven, and they bounce around a little differently. So I encourage you to you know, hang out with your metronome, and please investigate these two feels. I'm going to move it down to 69. Okay, so we're tapping our foot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What do you think that is? Right, it's shuffle. Here I go with rock steady. Two, three, four. than shuffle, which would be like okay, Could you hear how towards the end I changed? Alright, so getting these two feels together is really crucial in, in, in uh, playing these styles and being able to really control your rhythm. So now let's move on to video number five.